Asmin Gold's Twitch band explained. All right, let's see what you have to say. This was published 12 hours ago. Popular, uh, popular Twitch streamer Zach Hoyt, better known as Asmin Gold, is no stranger to controversy. He's well known in the gaming circles for delivering hot takes on his streams, but some of his most recent comments have earned him some wider attention in the mainstream press and a 14-day ban on his Twitch accounts. So I'm assuming wonder I wonder if it's it's probably also on Asmund Gold as well. Because if you're banned off of Zach Rar, you're banned off of Asmund Gold because they don't want you to stream no, on he's that. A, uh, account. He's a, oh, it's streaming that I'm not sure, but he posted his yeah. apology video on YouTube. Yeah, that one's so, on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, with more than did, did you watch sorry, did, you, did you watch the whole clip? I I did, I did. not. So okay, I did. okay. I, yeah. I watched the entire I, thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see, with more than four million followers spread across the two accounts, Asmund Gold is one of the platform's largest creators. As a result, the situation has got a lot of folks talking and even more asking questions about the band duration, about what brought it on what the fallout has been and about aspen gold's response to the whole situation so uh for people who don't know aspen gold said stuff about uh, the sharia law about the palestinian law and stuff like that and how mm -hmm. he also says that how aspen gold said that the sharia law and the palestinians and stuff like that and, and what aspen gold said that is that they are inferior mm -hmm. Right. In in short. Right. And he talks about how, like, you can't a law that has actually okays people for, like, you know, hurting people, potentially even killing people because of they think differently. Right. And the thing is, that, like I like Gray said, we have no dog in this fight. We don't like for me, like whatever is happening there is happening there. I don't really care too much about it because it doesn't affect my personal life. Right. I don't like it just if people die, that sort of shitty that that. That's a, that's that's my stance too for the whole Israel thing with the whole Ukraine thing. It just people dying that sucks. How can how does that have to do with me, right? That at least that's how I feel. Now, uh, he said that, and then he got a fourteen day ban for it. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people who um you know who are like, wow, he 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 said it. You know, he said these things. And you have a lot of people who have said even more egregious things, like Hassan yep. Piker. You know, he's mm -hmm. actually he's still there. You know, he's still uh -huh. doing his thing. There's a lot of people who have done even yeah. crazier things and yes. has said some even more worse things and still have not been banned and still are on the platform. Now, is Twitch extremely biased? Absolutely. Right. Yep. They are I feel like yep. I feel like Twitch are actually anti-Semites. Like a lot, and they promote that. It's because most recently I saw. A TwitchCon thing where like there's a bunch of creators and they're basically making fun of Jewish people. Like and 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 they don't get yeah. banned for it. It's because they are on the right side, according to Twitch. Now, of course, with this all coming out, Asmund Go has been since re been relieved of his position. He said that he's stepping back. I don't think that's a thing. I think he was forcibly removed. Uh, same thing with Starforge, Mad Mushroom, and all a bunch of affiliates, company that he's worked for, right? Starforge came out with this statement saying that, and with along with OTK saying that, uh, we don't uh, we don't condone what he says. You know, OTK and Starforge are actually very inclusive. Yada yada yada. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Speak. And more, it's more a political thing. The reason why is because Twitch is filled with these people who are pro Palestinian, pro Palestinian, pro Hamas, and stuff like that. All that kind of stuff. Look, I don't care what side you're on. I just feel like if you're in the U.S., you want you want to go help Palestine, you want to go help Ukraine. Please have a one way ticket and go there and defend them yourself. That's what I feel. Right. What made it worse is he apologized. In my opinion, he shouldn't have. Is because that's really what he thinks. Right. And the thing is, now he apologized. Everything that he says moving forward will get extremely scrutinized by everyone that's watching him. And plus, Asmin has been under a microscope for a long time now since he's one of the platform's biggest streamers, content creators. And I feel like he wouldn't have gotten banned. And I know, now I feel, I know he wouldn't have gotten banned if he was streaming on Kick. Yeah, agreed with that. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's, if uh, Twitch wants to ban people because of that, at least exert it equally, not just selective, just because you you disagree with it. I mean, that, that's yeah. what, that's what I think. It's like you, especially I, I know Andrew from Legal Mindset has been covering a lot of this with regards to VTubers. 
So yeah, uh, Twitch is a ticking time bomb. It's only a matter of time before mm. Amazon shuts them down. That's really what I feel. It's like when I saw the writing on the wall, when I realized it, that's why I went full on YouTube. Yeah. So the, the, the thing is that Twitch, the thing is that I, Asmin Goat has a lot of viewers that watches him on a, on a daily basis, anywhere between 20 to 40,000 people watching him on his mm. alternate account. When he's on his main account, he gets about 100,000 viewers. Right now, the thing is, Asmund Goat has almost 3 million subscribers on YouTube. And if he streamed on YouTube or he used other, he used alt platforms and, and get away from Twitch, he would be in a way better place, in my opinion. And the thing is yeah. that he won't have to watch what he has to say. And the fact that is, when Asmin go, he even like I watch his streams. He even says that like whatever he says is how he feels. He, you know, he he doesn't usually say sorry because it's how it is, right? And the reason why he has to apologize is because he knows that half of his viewers are pro Palestine, right? They're pro Hamas, and they're okay with what happened with October seventh. All of them are, right? I'm talking about fifty percent of, hundred percent of the fifty percent. And I feel like him apologizing makes him look very weak, right? And the thing is, like, not you know, he oh, look, Asman Goat is like fucking 110 pounds, okay? He's physically weak. I'm talking about his his demeanor and his character, right? It like he has such strong opinionated um, views and takes on a bunch of these things, and this is the one thing he walks it back. After I guarantee you, once he comes back after the stream, he said that he's gonna not stream as much. He says that he's gonna you know, not be so critical. And he, and he said that he, some people who are like uh, Palestinians reached out to him and his dad told him that like he was too much and stuff like that. But that's who his character is. It's, it's who he is. Why change who you are if that's how you feel? But the thing is, I think he's, he's such a, he's such on a global scale. I don't think he sees that people like, like him is because of his takes. Right, whether or not it's it's a it's a it's a tough uh, pill to swallow. People likes his takes, and that's the reason why people like him. And I, I think the fact that he's saying that he's sorry completely just voids all of the integrity that he has with people liking him. It's like, oh, he shouldn't have apologized to begin with, especially to the mob. He had to apologize. The reason his apology is for the the Palestinian people, right? Like I, I guarantee you, like someone like um, Hassan Piker or, or you know, like Destiny have said some egregious things about Trump supporters, right? People are like, "Oh, he, sh the Trump, the Trump supporter shouldn't have missed." Oh, how, how did you miss again? It's like all that kind of things. It's like they're still there. They're still on the platform. It's because Twitch is a, it's a shit platform, mm -hmm. but it's just it's the longest one. And the thing is that that's where Aspen Goat has his, you know, his all of his, you know, OTK people are there. So I, I don't know that that's just me with the rant and stuff like that. But um, overall, like, like, how do you feel about like him and his story? Like, I, like, like you said, you didn't watch the entire apology thing, but yeah, it's sort of like, I watched the apology. Said? I watched the apology, the apology part, did, right? Do you, do watch. you remember, do you remember what he said about Dr. Disrespect? How like he apologized and stuff like that. And he shouldn't have like thing that like, you know, like we all like, like he's sort of like making fun of Doctor Disrespect, saying that he shouldn't have done this, he shouldn't have said that, he shouldn't have said this, and stuff like that, making fun of him. Now that microscope is on him, now he he has to apologize. It's a, it's sort of like he looks weak himself. I don't know, man. It's just um, I see, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh, well, in terms of apologizing, I'm not saying that he should have, but I do believe that he's right in terms of taking a step back. Like, mm -hmm. in terms of become like, you know, it's not good to stream, like, 21 hours a day. It's like, it's it's going to take its toll on you eventually. Because in his perspective, that's what led him to say it in that way. Like, I, I get it. he went, What his underlying point might be correct. But I, I think what set a lot of people off is the way he said it. I, I could be wrong, but that's all, that's my perspective on things. So, for in order for him to not say it that way... At least less in the future. He he should like you know take breaks, do other things, not just solely focus on you know live streaming, but as like 
like he said his apology video he's, like he says he streams way 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 too much which i agree like given how fast he turns videos on his youtube channel i think he, he does mm-hmm. so yeah i'm not saying that he should not or should have apologized but i do think that he do it does need to take a step back, as he said so that he could be a better version of himself not just online but as well as his entire life so i think that will um if he does that he'll become even a better content creator but it if whether he should apologize or not uh yeah i i kind of agree with you there it's like he um it's only gonna get worse and as you say it's just gonna give more a- ammunition to to the people who do not like him which i yeah. i'm pretty sure kotaku polygon are already have all oh, yeah, they, they, articles they all yeah. yeah they all hate him now here's the thing the fact that he apologized everything that he says moving forward he ha- will have to apologize like if he says something wrong about something if he says something bad about something and the reason why he said uh he, he said he said all that kind of thing is because uh The people who are like the Palestinian side, the pro Hamas side, they're the violent one. And the thing is that, like, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure they, if he didn't apologize, there would have been some physical altercations that might have happened to Asmund Gold. Right. And the thing is that now, like, like, I didn't know his last name. Now we do. We know that he lives in Austin. I'm pretty sure, you know, like back in the day, there's this thing called the white pages where it shows everyone's name and everyone's addresses and everyone's phone number and stuff like that. I'm not saying that, you know, don't go and harass people or hurt people or anything like that. But the thing is that they are the site of physical violence, right? And it's just like, and and, and it's, these are also the Antifa types, the leftist types too. So, him apologizing it does not bode well for him, and um, I'm not. Sure, this thing will always going to be coming back to bite him in the ass. And um, if you actually go look at the, um, I believe he got like pretty much. Like, I'm not sure how how ratioed he got. I don't have the the thing installed into my laptop, but like, I don't know. I th- I, I just think that he shouldn't have apologized. Like, if if you didn't want to say it, why did you say it? Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.